Guys, the ETH ETF is scheduled to start trading July 23rd, so I am levered up safely using leverage, if you didn't know what that means, while earning passive income while I wait for my price targets to be hit. In this video, I'm going to show you my strategy. So I'm going to show you how to use leverage safely, how to get paid passive income while you're using your leverage and all my thoughts around the ETF and why I'm doing this, okay? So before we get started, I do have to say none of this is financial advice. This is my own perspectives, research, and opinions, and they should be treated as such. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the content, okay? So guys, like I said, the ETH ETF is gonna go live, the spot ETH ETF. You saw what happened with the Bitcoin ETF. We saw Bitcoin reach all-time highs very quickly for the first time in history before the Bitcoin halving. The Ethereum market cap is like two times smaller and institutions love the idea of being able to stake and earn similar like a risk-free return. That's kind of what is becoming in crypto. Like ETH, I think in like a decade or so will be looked at as the risk-free rate. I could be wrong on that, but whether I am or not, institutions like the idea of being able to stake at a validator like Coinbase, which BlackRock trusts, and be able to earn 12% on billions of trillions of dollars, guys. That's a lot of money. I also think that this is going to increase activity on Ethereum, which could lead to an explosive altcoin season. Like we already saw Bitcoin reach all time highs. Now we're about to see ETH reach all time highs, I think, from the ETH ETF, just because these custodians are going to have to buy up a large amount of ETH just to be able to fill orders. Right. And when institutions start buying ETH, they don't come on with you know, one, two year time frames like retail investors will will sell to buy a car or sell to put someone through college or for an emergency. No, when institutions buy an asset, they have multi-decade time frames. OK, so I'm levered up on ETH and I plan on selling it and then cycling into more altcoins. Right. Like, guys, this is such an easy trade. I think this is an easy trade. Right. ETH was already going to hit all time highs this cycle before the ETF. Now we have a spot ETF. I think it just makes it more clear. So I'm using leverage and I'm very comfortable with it. OK, so the platform that I'm using is Radiant Capital and I've made many videos on Radiant Capital. I called them out for the 10, 20 X or whatever, like a year and some change ago, like right when they launched. So I used this platform when I was shorting Bitcoin as well, where I made money and I made passive income while shorting. Now it's time to go long. All right, so let me show you guys how I'm doing this. And I'm doing this on multiple wallets. You know, I want to spread my risk across different protocols. But um, I like this because you get to earn passive income versus have to pay. And I'm going to explain to you how. OK, so if I go to dashboard, you can see that most of my deposits are Ethereum. Right. And I have a health factor of 1.4. I'm going to get that up to two. I just wanted to make this video real quick because it's getting late. Or after this video, I'm gonna put some more uh, collateral on here just so that I can be able to sleep a little better at night. So when you are longing, which I'm long in Ethereum, I wanna use Ethereum as my collateral. So I have ETH as collateral. And what I did was deposited my ETH and I borrowed stable coins and I looped it three times on this one. I deposited ETH and I, debar I borrowed the stable coins and I took those stable coins and I sold it for ETH, deposited it as ETH again. So I have it as collateral again. And I borrowed more stable coins, went to Uniswap, sold the stable coins for ETH, deposited the ETH, and then did it again. So three times. And now you see I have a $100,000 plus, a little bit over uh, ETH position. And I also have some USDC as collateral on here, just so that, you know, if ETH starts to drop, you know, at least I still have some stable coins. I'm going to put more on here, probably around 20 grand. And I also have my Arbitrum acting as collateral as well. And now you're, you're probably wondering, well, how are you making passive income? Well, let's do the math. So to deposit ETH, I'm earning 1.9%, so let's call it 2%, and I'm also getting paid 3.5% in radiant admission. So I'm earning 5% just off of supplying ETH, right? Now, to borrow ETH, it's costing me 10%, 10.3% APY, but I'm getting paid 10% in radiant emissions to borrow it. So I'm actually only being charged 0.3, so you do 5%, whatever the math is, minus 0.3. So I'm making around 5% to borrow against my ETH. And I'm also supplying my stable coins, which I'm getting a yield on. So I'm getting 4% uh, in Radiant tokens and 3% here. And I'm getting 1%, 1.5% in ARB rewards and 0.7% here as well. Now, in order to get these emissions, you have to have a percentage in uh, DLP. I forget the exact amount. 
but I think it has to be around 5%. And when you go to borrow, it'll tell you and it'll have you automatically borrow some ETH, right? So I'm just going to wait on ETH. I have my price targets where I'm going to sell at around seven grand, eight grand. And then I'm just going to pay off the loan. Like, and once I go to pay off the loan, all I'm going to do is like, once ETH goes up, ETH is my collateral, but I have to pay back $60,000 in USDC, right? So if ETH does a 2X, I'll withdraw some of the ETH, exchange it for USDC, and I'll go pay off the loan and I can keep the difference, right? That's pretty cool, guys. You're probably wondering, why don't you use something like Aave? They have $13 billion in total value locked. They're battle tested. Well, if you look at Aave, I'm going to launch this app. I can't get paid passive income to borrow. Like I can't, I can't get paid passive income to leverage. And I want to do that. I don't want to have to pay to use leverage. Like I think ETH is going to start mooning here in the next month or two, especially after ETF launch. But you know, it could take a while. And I don't want me having to pay to take away from my position. I'd rather get paid, sell the radiant to buy more ETH, and just you know keep doing it that way. And you can see here the supply APY is 1.7 for ETH. And if I want to borrow, I have to pay 2%. So I'm paying around 1%. So I'm still having to pay versus earn 5%, okay? And I trust Radiant. They've been around for a while. They haven't been hacked. They're getting audited. They're constantly shipping. They're launching on new chains. They're omni-chain. So I'm cool with that. So guys, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Guys, you only need one to two good trades per year to move the needle on your net worth. And now if I can turn this 100K into 300K, 250K, and take those profits and then cycle them into RWA altcoins. I get a 10x, 20x, 50x. Guys, I'm going to be a happy camper. It's not that hard. So if you want to learn these strategies, how to generate passive income, how to position yourself for what I think is going to be the craziest altcoin rally in history as mainstream institutions can only pile into an asset class for the first time once. That's what's happening right now. Guys, we have professional coaches who yield firm and trade for a living. We have a strong group of community members who's building different tooling for us. We all have each other's best interests. We're all you know, trying to help each other out. If that sounds like something you're looking for, click the link in the description, book a free strategy session. You'll talk to me or one of our coaches. We'll answer any questions you have as it pertains to yield farming, crypto, investing, trading, etc. And ultimately, see if our program is a good fit for you. Uh, if it's not, we're happy to point you in the right direction. But with that, I'd like to conclude this video. If you got value, I actually consider subscribing, drop a like, drop a comment, share with a friend. Let me know what strategy you want me to cover next. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I love every single one of you watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and trade safe.